Welcome back to the workshop. This is going to be the last of the uh, electronic lead screw project uh, updates. Um, as you will see, it comes to a fitting conclusion. Uh, and before we go over and uh, I'll start the video proper, I just want to uh, say, well, I'm sorry for the amount of uh, jiggling about. Uh, I don't possess a video camera. I'm using a, an old telephone mobile phone that is, um, which is not the best thing to use I know but that's all I have and the majority of these shots are handheld so uh, my hands aren't as steady as they used to be and I just hope you can put up with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the uh, video. Here we go. Let me just set this uh, quick shot up. I'm about to start milling a 40 mm uh, diameter hole to mount the servo motor on the back the, uh, back plate of the the, the lathe. Um, the actual boss on the servo is 38 millimeters, but uh, I'm doing it 40 because I found a it tends to mill undersize for whatever reason, and also to give me a bit of wriggle room on the uh, uh, adjustment of the belt. If it uh, still turns out too slack I'm going to put an idler pulley on but I hope to avoid that. Uh, so it's all set up, it's zeroed uh, X and Y on uh, where I have marked the center line of the spindle. Z I've set to the top of the plate, it's a 3mm plate and I'm going to cut in um, half mil depths I hope. Uh, if it works all well and good, if it doesn't well you won't probably won't see this. So off we go. Um, start job. Start. <laughs> Now it's going to take a run at it. Tool change is not required. There goes the spindle. And here we go. I'll hang on to it as well. I don't think it's going to move. Oh, it's making some odd noises. Well, it very nearly went through. I, I was hoping it might go through. I left the tabs at the bottom so that the middle disc wouldn't uh, 
fly about, but uh, I think I can probably finish that off by hand. So, all in all, I'm pleased with that. The back plate is now back on the lathe. I've put the 60 tooth pulley on the lead screw. The 20 tooth pulley is mounted on the servo hub poking through the newly bored hole. Um, I've held it in place rather inelegantly with this uh, uh, woodworking cramp but it's, uh, it's holding it in position sufficiently for me to at least uh, punch um, a centre point through for the first fixing hole um, which I'll now drill through um, put a bolt uh, hole through to hold it more securely and then uh, drill the other three out I'll do that off camera and so I'm sure you've all seen people drilling holes before and I can bring you back when it's finished Right, well you've seen what it looks like on the outside have a look uh, under the bonnet as you can see I've uh, replaced the encoder mounting um, one to one again with the uh, spindle the um, servo is mounted on there's very little slack I think that'll be all right bearing in mind that um, backlash is not a problem um, if it appears that it is then I will put a, a jockey wheel mounted on here um, a roller bearing or some such on a sliding mount just to take the excess play out of there the I'm quite happy with the uh, servo mounting there although uh, the magnets may pick up some metal dust I'm trying to think of some way to shroud it perhaps oh if only I had a 3d printer um, next job on the list uh, and I hope the last job on the list is to mount the um, electronic box of tricks down there connect up all the wires switch on and uh, cross my fingers well that's for later on I'm off for a cup of tea you rejoin me in the workshop uh, somewhat later than uh, I had anticipated uh, because I'd found I'd cut the um, wires from the encoder and the display just a little bit too short to reach the uh, sockets on the back of the enclosure so I've had to reroute them inside uh, leaving the back plate here looking a bit more like Swiss cheese than uh, a lathe headstock back plate but there we go such is life uh, it's all now ready to uh, fire up and see how we get on uh, you'll have to bear with me the VFD has a constantly running fan so that uh, will provide a little bit of extra background and uh, I'll switch on the, the electronic lead screw cloud 42 I have a little problem with them um, flickering which I think is probably uh, uh, a bit of EMF uh, I've put some ferrite cores on the cables which seems to have um, helped a bit but not uh, completely however I'll investigate that a bit further and uh, well here we go let's uh, let's see uh, millimeters give it a feed of um, one millimeter per rev uh, as you can hear the VFD is going uh, we're in a medium speed so we'll switch on forward 
increase the speed. Carriage is a bit close to the chuck for my liking, but there we are, we're uh, doing 168, 169 RPM. And uh, look, lead screw is going round, the encoder is going round, in fact everything that should be going round is going round, so uh, let's engage the cross slide and yeah, it's going forward. I'll we'll just increase the feed. Uh, no, I won't, because that. Um, can't do that while it's um, going. Let's move it back a bit so we don't crash into the chuck. I've uh, got to get used to how this works. So. Uh, um, Oh, I um, should be in thread. So I'm putting this up to three, and you should see the carriage fairly zip along. So uh, I'll have to be a bit swift on the uh, handle so that I don't get a, a crash into the chuck. I'll turn the speed down a bit. Engage the cross slide, and well, it certainly looks faster than it was. I'll have to get a bit of stock, stick it in the chuck, and see how we get on with making threads. And um, well, that's encouraging. Um, I'm not sure that I've got any round stock, but uh, I'll have a look, and if I have, I'll come back and make some threads. If I haven't, well, this will be the end of the video, and if you have been, thanks for watching. And um, I'm not sure there'll be another update, this is just about it. Let's catch you next time. Thanks, bye. Well, I've managed to find a piece of old um, brass, uh, which I'm going to just take a skim coat off, uh, and then I've... Uh, Got a threading tool which I'll use to put some uh, a thread or two on, and we'll see how we get on. And I have to reach around the camera, so this might be a bit awkward. And uh, as you can see, I've got the feed set to 0.1 of a millimeter per revolution. And we'll see how we get on with that. Started a bit far out now. Come on, it'll catch up. Not quick enough for my liking. Right, here we go. Dark enough for the very, barely shaving anything off there. This will be the real test. I say real test, it's the only brass after all. That's given a quite a nice finish actually. As you would expect, and it's not a very sharp tool. Anyway, there we go. Let me just check this is roughly on the centre line.
or a little below perhaps. Yep, that's just about spot on I reckon. picture that once but there we go. Right. I haven't got the uh, top slide set over at an angle I'm just going to feed in directly with the cross slide. Um, it's 0.05 millimeter just to give it a scratch pass. And that is it. Half nuts. And I'll do this very slowly. And speed it up till we get closer to the chuck. Um, anybody spot my deliberate error? I'm still on feed. So, switch from feed to thread. Oops. Press the right button, there we go, thread. Um, do a one mil pitch. There we go. And have to keep the Cross the um, lead screw nut engaged. And I'll just pause it there while I go and get the thread gauge, which I've forgotten to get out there. Uh, this is not going to make <laughs> very riveting viewing, I'm afraid, but. Uh, I'll put the thread gauge on there and uh, uh, look through the magnifying glass. That is absolutely spot on. Uh, I'm afraid you're going to have to take my word for it because I can't see a way of getting in any closer. Uh, if I move the camera, A, it'll be shaky, and B, uh, it will probably be out of focus. Um, I'm not going to cut anymore. <clears throat> I see no reason why uh, the other ratios uh, of three feeds uh, should be uh, incorrect and I don't want to waste uh, a good bit of brass so there we are and that's it uh, like I said before and I always say if you have been watching and have uh, sat through the whole of this playlist and others uh, many thanks and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.